when I do mine is the devil's workshop. He thinks nothing and plans nothing but evil. Unemployment has been a major challenge in Nigeria. Our youths are stranded with low income, poverty, and low living standard. According to ECOWAS, 95.1 million Nigerians are suffering from poverty, which is about 48% of the population leading to so many crimes in Nigeria, such as banditry, kidnapping, raping, and so many other social vices. On the other hand, land pollution is a major hurdle in Nigeria. Improper waste disposal, we suffer from drainage blockages and flood. Land pollution contributed to 30%, which is 749,000 of all pneumonia deaths in 2019, 56%, which is 422,800 from household, and 44%, which is 326,400 from outdoor sources, 40%, which is 304,200 of land pollution related pneumonia deaths are among children under 5 years. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Idris Rubuan Perda. Presenting with me today are Fatima Idris Adamu, Kamal Ibrahim, Amina Musa Haruna. Bautu State is situated in the Northeast Geographical Zone of Nigeria. With 20 local governments and about 55 tribal groups, it is a home to one of the finest tourist destinations in Nigeria. The Yankari Game Reserve, considered in its glorious days as a pearl of tourism, agriculture and mining are the mainstay of its state economy. Sadly, Bauti State has a large number of unemployed youths who suffer from poverty and low living standards. According to UNICEF, there are an estimated 1.2 million out of school children in Bauti State in 2021, which is one of the highest in Nigeria. This has led to poor living standards, total disregard to environment, poor hygiene, and attendant twin evil of poverty and unemployment. In order to solve this social problem, and turn threats into an opportunity. An act of Spouty State University provides a solution with its wealth from waste project, which is Dubgum, Dunlop Upcycling Gum, the conversion of Dunlops and takeaways into quality sugar. This project is aimed at 1. Reducing the number of unemployed youth within the community. 2. Improving the living standard of the host community. 3. Contributing to the economic growth and development. 4. Curtailing the problem of gum importation. 5. Providing avenue for quality education. 6. Training at least 300 youth on gum production. 7. Ensuring sustainable, clean, and healthy environment. Dub gum is an alternative for shoe industries, leather industries, and other gum related industries within Bauchi and Plateau State. Considering the fact that Plateau and Bauchi are two neighboring states with large number of shoemakers in just communities, we discovered that a supply of gum from Bauchi to just will be a world-class business. This is why we divided our implementation process into four stages, the initiating stage, planning stage, the execution stage, and the sustainability stage. We conducted a brainstorming session on how to effectively implement this project. For the planning stage, we conducted an environmental sanitization campaign, waste collection, introduction of gum, testing, and marketing. At the execution stage, in conducting environmental sanitization campaign, we knew that it won't be easy for our team, which is why we partnered with water sanitization and hygiene in the area of sanitization and hygiene. For people to take opportunity of recycling renewable waste products into quality gums, this will in turn reduce the breeding of bacteria, drainage blockage by keeping the environment clean. And not just that, we created a locally made parker using sack for collection of waste. This reduced about 5% of our operational costs. We also recycle damaged aluminum zinc into gum packages. This has in turn reduced 7% of our operational costs. We also combated pipe tail of waste, thereby reducing the number of waste products that pollute the environment. At testing stage, we partner with RUA Shoe Industries, located in Tesnot, who tested the product to know its efficiency and effectiveness in shoe repumping and production. After one month of testing, we conducted a survey on performance of the project and noticed positive results from various business and customers. To 
Suna Lara B. Usman Hassan. Na I can take a new market to spread his state. So I pay gum that I can introduce him when I sabo what to top gum. Now when I eat it, uh, bit running. So bit run, come in, zigas, ya, ya, you could need your stool for him. When I'm coming, I can introduce him to gum. Now when I see him, one chunk, I'm going to be the leader that I'm saying. So one of the moments is the cheaper price that you build up so that you build, which is the answer. So when I order food today, more especially my wife, so I can take a meal. So when the party arrives, one of the moments is the bar bumper chili that we have. Ah, we try to make it fun. One of the moments is the apple that we have. So one of the moments is the bar bumper chili that we have. So one of the moments is the apple that we have. So one of the moments is the bar bumper chili that we have. So one of the moments is the apple that we have. So one of the moments is the bar bumper chili that we have. So one of the moments is the apple that we have. At the marketing stage, we structured the products in good quality and designed attractively to stimulate customers' demand. In regards to the price, we reduced the price to as low as 200 per pack for easier affordability as we used cost leadership measures to tackle competition challenges. At the promotion stage, we applied the buy one get one promo for the first five customers. This has increased the sales and persuaded over 150 customers to buy the product. We apply the concept of business to business and business to customers as we have partnered with Water Multi Concept, a shoe producing industry who handle both the sales and delivery. We sold directly to customers within Baltic and Platinum. To ensure the project's sustainability, an active partnership partnered with Nengi Emirates Offense and Underprivileged Support Initiative. This, we believe, will provide these orphans underprivileged and out of school children hands on skill and gun production, a vocation and knowledge that can be easily transferred down to the younger ones. Furthermore, 5% of profit generated will be reinvested for training of the youths. In addition, we also partnered with AU Shoes, a leather and shoe producing industry, to ensure the continuous flow of demand and supply of Dogcom within Bounty and Plateau State access. Ladies and gentlemen, the impact of this project is socially. Friends, 360 youths, which developed their hopes and self esteem. 200 dropouts went back to school with the aid of Ningi Emirate Orphans and Underprivileged Support Initiative. Peace of mind on the part of youths for having job security. Economically, created 200 jobs that generated over 5 million income. Minimize 10% of operational costs by refurbishing renewable waste products into sacks and gun packages. Generated 2.5 million revenue from sales. We improved the living standard of our 400 households within Bauchi community. Environmentally, reduce the potential threat of bacteria, infectious related diseases, and effectively saving over 3,000 lives. We sanitize the environment with the help of Bauchi State Environmental Protection Agency, where we thought we could have how to properly dispose of waste, especially in our homes. Managing about 263 drainage blockage and Ladies and gentlemen, inside of your challenges, we get our best for the execution of the project, and we have recorded 80% success. We've turned 360 youths, 200 of two children went back to school. We created 200 jobs that generated 5 million income. We impacted the lives of over 400 households and saved over 3,000 lives. University.